Hi, today we will have a look at the basic differences between heparin and warfarin and some tricks to easily remember them. Heparin and warfarin are anticoagulant drugs, which means that they decrease the clotting of blood. So they are used in conditions such as deep venous thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, atrial fibrillation, cerebrovascular diseases, etc. An important point, anticoagulants such as heparin and warfarin prevent the formation and extension of thrombus. However, they do not dissolve an already formed clot. Now let us go through the differences. First, heparin is a mixture of sulfated mucopolysaccharides. It is commercially prepared from ox lung or pig intestinal mucosa. Warfarin, on the other hand, is a cumarin derivative. Next is the route of administration. Heparin is given parenterally while the warfarin is given orally. Heparin is given either intravenously or subcutaneously. Heparin should never be given intramuscularly because of the risk of hematoma formation at the injection site. Next, we move to the mechanism of action. Heparin inhibits the clotting factors 10A and 2A by forming complexes with them. On the other hand, warfarin inhibits the synthesis of vitamin K dependent clotting factors in the liver such as that of factor 2, 7, 9 and 10. Next is the onset of action. Heparin has an immediate onset while warfarin has a delayed onset. Warfarin has a delayed onset because it inhibits the synthesis of new clotting factors in the liver but it has no effect on the already formed clotting factors in the circulation. So the pool of these already formed clotting factors gradually decrease depending on their half-lives. After these already formed clotting factors gradually gets depleted, the action of warfarin gets manifest. Then we look at the duration of action. Heparin has a short duration of action of 4 to 6 hours, while warfarin has a long duration of action of 3 to 6 days. How do we remember these above two points? For easy memorizing, just acknowledge that the first three letters of the word heparin that is H-E-P can be related to a hep guy. Hep guy is bubbly. He acts fast. He is quick. Heparin has hep in its word. So heparin acts fast and immediately. But the hep guy also quickly gets tired and his activity then decreases. So this hep guy or heparin acts quickly, acts immediately but has a short duration of action. On the other hand, the first three letters of the word warfarin, that is war, can be related to a war-like situation. War builds up slowly, so it has a delayed onset, but once the war starts, it goes on for a long time. So, warfarin acts slowly, but has a long duration of action. So, concluding from the above three features, heparin is used to initiate therapy, while warfarin is used as a maintenance therapy. Generally, both heparin and warfarin are started together. Heparin is then withdrawn after 5 to 7 days when warfarin's action starts becoming manifest. So that heparin provides cover for the initial lag time of warfarin. Moving ahead, the actions of heparin are monitored by monitoring APTT or activated partial thromboplastin time. In contrast, the actions of warfarin are monitored by monitoring PT, prothrombin time or INR. Next, the antagonist for heparin is protamine sulfate, while that of warfarin is vitamin K. How can we remember this? Protamine starts with the letter P and heparin has the letter P in its word. So P goes with P. Last, drug interactions are few and insignificant in case of heparin while many significant drug interactions occurs with warfarin. Thanks for watching. If you find this video beneficial, please share and if you have not subscribed yet, please do.